This morning, we continue to follow the developments of a mass shooting Sunday morning in downtown Cleveland. And right now, police are searching for the man that opened fire on West 6th Street, injuring nine people. And police say each victim was taken to Metro Health with non-fatal injuries, but one of the victims is in serious condition this morning. Anyone with information about the shooting is asked to please call Cleveland Police or Crime Stoppers. A reward might be available for you. Well, now residents and visitors are looking to city leaders for action. And what can be done to curb violent crime in our city? Yeah, our Kara Cotton joins us now live with what officials are saying follow the incident. Kara, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Crime in Cleveland remains among one of the top concerns for those who live and visit downtown Cleveland, and it's been that way for years. So now the question becomes, what can city leaders do about it? Now, following yesterday's shooting, Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb, Police Chief Wayne Drummond, and other safety officials held a press conference to provide more information and to ease community concerns. Now, they championed the response of officers and EMS officials, but they called out legislators, saying their power to increase safety has been taken away. Now, despite obstacles, Mayor Bibb says that they're continuing their efforts to get more officers on the force and ensure that neighborhoods are safe. Now, while officials seem to all agree that change is necessary, up for debate is how to get it all done. Tackling violent crime is a multi-pronged approach, not just law enforcement, not just the investments we're making in neighborhoods, but we need better legislation at the state and federal level to get illegal guns off our streets. We need to clean these streets up so people can walk to the stores, play with their kids in a playground, go downtown without having a fear of getting shot or hearing gunshots down there. I mean, downtown's thriving and, you know, we need to get it just a little bit safer out there. Now, the victims from yesterday's shooting were among 16 combined people that were shot in separate incidents across the city this in a, during a 24-hour period. So, again, Dave, just underscoring the need for change here in Cleveland. Yeah, not good at all. You're right. Okay, Kara, thank you. We'll see you later this morning. Meanwhile, the Cavaliers released a statement yesterday saying in part, quote, our hearts go out to the victims of today's tragic shooting in downtown Cleveland and their families. These horrific and preventable acts of violence remind us that there's still more that needs to be done to keep our streets and neighborhoods safe for all. We'll continue to follow this story as it develops throughout the day. You can find the latest information on our website, WKYC.com and on the WKYC app.